This is a story of uh, Cedar Basket uh, from Vi Hilbert. This girl had trouble thinking. It was really hard for her to figure things out. And the other children wouldn't play with her. She had to play by herself. And one day she was sitting all by herself under the cedar tree. And the tree bent over and it spoke to her. It said, girl, why are you by yourself? Why aren't you playing with the other children? She said, they don't like to play with me. I can't understand their games. I can't understand things very well. The tree said, that's really too bad. But I have an idea. I could teach you how to make a cedar basket. Would you like that? I couldn't do that. I can never understand directions. I couldn't do that. No, I can tell you everything to do. No, I know I couldn't do it. Girl, could you try? You could try. That's all I need, said the tree. And the tree told her everything to do, how to go and dig some of the roots of the tree, how to take some bark off the tree, and how to strip the bark and prepare it in small strips, and how to weave. And she wove, and she wove, and she wove a cedar basket. She said, that's a good basket. Go bring me some water in it. And she went to the stream, and she dipped, and it was very light, and she brought it back, and she held it up to the tree to look, and the water had all run out. Oh, the tree said, you didn't weave it tight enough. Can you do it again? 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 I guess so. And she dug some more of the roots and took some more of the bark and she stripped it and prepared it and then she wove and she wove and she wove another cedar basket. Okay, said the tree, you wove another basket. Now go bring me some water. She went to the stream and she dipped it and it was heavier and she brought it back and she held it up and it was half full of water. Oh, she said, that's a lot better, but it's not right yet. Can you do it again? Again? Again. So she went and dug some more roots and prepared them and took some more bark and prepared it. And she wove and she wove, and this time she wove very tightly. And the tree saw what she was doing. And the tree said, I have an idea, girl. Why don't you weave a basket in the, in a design in the top of your basket? You could copy my, my leaves, my branches. Oh, you copy the mountain over there? All right, said the girl. I like that idea. And she wove a little design all around the top of the basket. And she finished her cedar basket. Oh, said the tree. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, bring me water. She went to the stream and she dipped and it was really heavy and she brought it back and held it up and it was full to the brim with water. Whoa, said the tree. You've done it. You've woven a perfect cedar basket. Now what should you do, said the tree. Now what should you do? Now that you know how to weave a cedar basket. I should weave some more baskets and get them to all the elders in my tribe as gifts. Yes, said the tree, that's a good idea. You should do that. But is there anything else you should do now that you know how to weave a cedar basket? I should teach. I should teach all the girls and all the women how to weave baskets. Yes, said the tree. That is what you should do. And today, because of that one girl, all the girls and all the women in the Klickitat people know how to weave beautiful cedar bark baskets. That's the story from Bob Hilbert, but it's from the Klickitat people.